all right guys welcome back to another episode up and running thanks for watching all right on today's episode we're going to change the valve covers in the grand wagon here so i hope you enjoy it all right guys i gotta tell you something that's a little ironic if you remember last week we uh had that gmc camper that was sitting in the weeds and I had made a comment that I'd never ever seen one of these before. Well, ironically, look what came up for sale in the Dallas Fort Worth area this week. <laughs> Figures. All right, so this thing has got uh, the valve covers are leaking, a little bit of oil. So we're going to go ahead and uh, put new valve cover gaskets on this. Um, they don't look really fun. There's a lot of stuff in the way on these. So uh, anyway, well, it's got to be done. So let's do it. I'm going to uh, mark all the spark plug wires and uh, pull those off to get them out of the way. I'm also going to pull the fuel filter off to get that out of the way. And uh, then we should have a pretty decent shot at the valve cover. All right, just gotta mark the spark plug wires and then we'll pull those off and then we should be able to get at the valve cover. I think these are going to be English. Mm, there's a little bracket for the uh, dipstick tube. Pretty, pretty crispy. I'm sure that's why it was leaking. It seemed like it was shrunk and all the, the bolts were just a tad loose. Um, so I'm sure it, it shrank and uh, that's why it was leaking. So anyway, all right, one down. Wow, that came off in one piece. It is pretty crusty though. The valve cover does have, you know, minor dings in here. 
So I'll tap those back out so they uh, seat right and I'll get this cleaned up. These are definitely not the worst ones I've ever seen. They're in pretty good shape. I've still got to check them for squareness, but we'll see. Pretty good. These two need just a little more. I'm just checking that there's as little gap underneath this straight edge as possible. These are pretty good. I think we're in good shape here. Alright, let's clean these up. Just had a random dog walk into the shop. Hey, Pop, what you doing? Come here. How you doing? Let's see, you got a name tag on? Hey, Duke. We're gonna have to give your family a call. All right, hold on, we'll give your family a call, okay? Well, you'll be happy to know the dog Duke's mama came and picked him up. These gaskets have these little tabs on them that you just plug in there. So they kind of sit in place. making sure they fit pretty well. This one's got just a little bow here I'll have to watch out for, but it's, it's pretty well here. Sorry for the mowing, of course that's gotta come up. All right, now I have to go ahead and clean up the, the actual head, so. Don't want any issues there. Luckily those other ones came off pretty nice, so there's really very minor dirt here that I have to clean up. Alright, looks good. Now we'll put the uh, valve cover back on. Alright, it's the next day, so we're going to get back on these valve covers. I went ahead and put some sealer on them, so this one's all set to go back on.
If I haven't showed you this little trick before, if you just take a little paper towel, the screw won't fall out so you can lean back and uh, put it in without losing the screw. All right, got it started. Didn't lose it. Ugh. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and torque these now. First thing I'm gonna do is just kind of snug them up, not torque them yet and then make sure the gasket is in place everywhere it appears to be right now. Came out one piece too. Always like that. It's way easier when it comes out that way. Oh, it came off in one piece again. Alright, I think that'll do it. We are all done. Just making sure I didn't leave any hoses off, because you know on these 80s vehicles there's a million hoses. I think that's uh, I think that's it. All right, we'll take this thing around the block. Make sure everything's good. Shifts nice. This thing rides so smooth.
right, the wagon ear's all good. Nothing, uh, nothing running out underneath it. So that's always a good thing. Running good. Shift's good. Just an all around super nice truck. Another buddy of mine stopped by today with his 77 Chevy truck. Hey, look, these things cool, it's lowered. I got a 74 Blazer I'm doing in there restoring about 80% of it. And I ordered new ones of these. Those I need there for. That works. Pretty nice truck. I bought four African. You can tell it's a 77 because it's got the gold in the trim on it instead of black. So like you can see on the tailgate there, that piece right there has got black in it so uh, when you're looking at the gold that runs down the side those are 77s so the tailgate must be off a different year or a different piece of trim i know he said he's still looking for some trim Nice old truck. I know last time I came over here, I was asking you about the AC just because I have nothing. I have no problem. No AC at all. Yeah, it's not that big of a deal, but you have one bracket there, you got to get the rest of the brackets and then a compressor kit. And that line, I would take that inner wheel well out and pull that apart and clean that evaporator. Okay. Because it, it, it just it's got all those years of dirt in it. 79 around the corner if it was ice cream. All right, guys, that's going to wrap it up for another episode up and running. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the Grand Wagoneer. So one thing that we've got here is these valve covers are leaking. There's a phone. All right, guys, I got to tell you something that's a little ironic. If you remember last week, we looked at that old GMC uh, camper sitting out in the weeds Hi, bees. Everybody got to come over and say hi now, huh? Okay, that wasn't as easy as I thought. Bolt back there. I didn't need to take that one out. We'll put that back in.